got your poster printed or your picture printed. So then you put you put your poster on top of the piece of paper. If you want to, you can use a bit of um, masking tape just to keep it in place. Um, I'll, if you want to, we can print two of these out for you. So I'll just use a bit of insulation tape to keep it in place for now. And then I'll start thinking, this will be where you're going to start sorting out where you're going to put your LEDs. So say I want to put colored LEDs where those are. I'll use a nail. Uh, you can grab it with a um, long nose plier and then just give it a little hole on each one. So I'll just do a few for now. So I've got little marks there. And then you can take your poster off and put it below your drawing. And then you can start, and I want you guys to, with a pencil, start making notes on this piece of paper. I'm just going to do it with a... Uh, whiteboard marker so it stands out for the video's sake so yeah I'll probably put a yellow light so I can put yellow the next one will be yellow as well so I can put yellow uh, green uh, maybe that one will make red then maybe a blue one and yellow and the last one green Okay, now I've marked down my LEDs and then I know how to put them on. But we just have to be careful um, that you don't drill through this side and put your poster on the other side because then you'll have a mirror image. So my poster needs to go on this side. So when you drill through here, your LEDs need to go on the back. Just remember, so the side that you write on will be on the top. Now I'm going to go to the press drill and drill five or three more holes on all my so um, what you do is you just stand to get rid of all the burr on the holes. There's still stuff stuck in it. You can use the nail that we used to drill through it and just open up the holes. And this is what I'm going to do next is probably the most important part of the whole project. We're going to go to the back. I like to put the positives on the top and the negatives on the bottom. So what you're going to do first with a pencil is you're just going to do this. Draw a little line, put a positive, draw a little line, put a negative. We can probably share this negative can be one, that one. And then we'll have another positive. Negative, positive, negative, negative. We can probably share the positive between those two as well. So, and a positive on the top. A negative for those one. And a positive for both of those on the top. And a positive there. And a negative there. So now I've marked kind of my circuit out. I'm going to build the circuit. The next step. What you're going to do is you're going to cut bits of copper strip for each section that you need. So I'll cut that. I'll cut some copper for that bit. Whoops. Then I'll cut a bit. Of this, this whole step of today might take a whole lesson. So what you're going to do next is remember to fold the corner of the um, paper bit at the back. And then you can wrap the copper tape off on the top. And you can stick that on. Go quite close to the hole as close as you can. Use the back of your nail to smooth it out. And then we'll go through all of them. So we'll go this negative there. And you're ready to solder. You can put a blob of solder on this part, side and on that side. Sometimes it lifts up a little bit just... Don't use your finger, use pliers or something to push it down. I can solder my wire on there. And then I need a jumper wire from there to there. So the rest will kind of be, most of you will have an idea of this. Then I'm going to solder all these wires between my negative and the last one will go to ground on my chip.